Hey guys, welcome to Be a Learner. Here in this session, we are going to discuss Hashicorp Terraform with Azure. The objective of this session is to start using the Hashicorp Terraform and write your own infrastructure as a code into Azure. We are going to try to start using the Azure DevOps with Terraform right from the beginning. So if you are beginner and want to learn Terraform, this is the right place to start with it. Please do consider to subscribe the channel if you like the video. Let's begin. Let's begin now and start creating some of the Azure resources with the help of Terraform. To start with it, you can use the Terraform website, which is www.terraform.io and you can navigate to the docs section wherein you have the list providers menu item if you click on the provider you'll find the list of all the provider as i have mentioned in my previous video terraform supports so many provider which you can work on and you can provide the automation here in this video we are more focused on azure so you can see even the azure we have the multiple providers like azure Azure Active Directory, Azure DevOps, Azure Stack. So we are going to cover each of them. But to begin the journey, let's choose the Azure for now. Click on the Azure, you'll get the detail about how do you subscribe to the Azure provider. This is the very important website if you want to learn using the Azure DevOps. Here you can see one of the example which is given here. As it's saying, if you want to use the Azure provider, you need to use the provider tag and then create the resources. Here I'm going to start using a fresh repository so that if you are a beginner and you are joining with me from the scratch, then you would be able to follow me as I'm growing. Let's create a new repository. This is my DevOps project. I'm creating a new repository here. I'm going to call it IAC, which is infrastructure as code. Here in the git ignore, I'm going to type Terraform so that it adds the git ignore file, which has all the Terraform syntax, which it needs to ignore. Here's my repository setup now if you check the terraform ignore file which it needs to ignore so it is supposed to ignore the tf state file tf var file and all those things let's clone the repository now here is my visual studio code i'm onto the folder c school repo and source here i'm going to clone the repository click git clone I have already set up the terraform on my system I have installed a couple of extensions which requires to use the terraform with Visual Studio Code I have already created one video which shows what all tools you need to run the terraform on your windows machines if you haven't watched the video the link is given in the description and in the information box above please follow that here i've cloned the repository successfully now i'm going to create the resources let's call main.tfl tf is the extension for the terraform here you can see i'm using the resource tag in the terraform resource tag is the tag if you want to create a resources with the help of terraform and then you need to provide the name of the resource which you want to create if you look read the resource name carefully the essential first prefix is always going to be the name of your provider here in this case we are going to use the azure rm provider hence it is Azure RM underscore the name of the resources resource basically 
uh, which is the source group in this case and then the instance name right any name which you want to give let's say I'm going to call platform and it's with RG and then it has certain attributes each attributes has predefined set of attributes each resource has predefined set of attributes which you need to give some of them are mandatory some of them are optional so here in the resource group resource the mandatory attributes are the name and the location so let's give the name as a the low name of the environment and then the instance here I have not added the provider tag still it's going to work because the prefix with the use of prefix it's going to download the provider let's test and run the command terraform init command it's initializing the terraform and it's downloading the azure rm provider you can see it has started downloading the provider here I'll just scroll to the right and my initialization is successful but if you want to have the provider a specific provider version then you can specify like that or you can specify with this tag at the moment I'm going to keep it as is I want to use my provider version to be this one though the latest one is this as well let's run the terraform in it again just to make sure it's working again yeah it's working fine next command which is important after the init you need to run the terraform plan this will make sure it's creating the plan you can see the state file is in the log state right now while the plan is running on so this is how the terraform works while it runs the plan command it logs the state file so that nobody else or no other process will try to execute or try to retrieve the log the state file at the same time so basically it's the single thread is going to use the terraform state file now you can see the lock is removed and the, that temporary lock file was removed now and the plan is generated successfully now you can see the plan says it's going to create a resource group one plan colon one to add zero to change zero to destroy let's run the terraform apply command with auto true again it has locked the state if you look at carefully and this time it's generating the state file as well while running the apply command if you do not pass the auto approve argument every time you are going to run the apply command it will ask you for the approval so it's better to use the auto approval the resource is created the plan file is run successfully you can see the logs here and the message apply completed resource is created you can see the resource group is created in my subscription and you can see the history as well when the resource was created five minutes ago just now
that's it in this session thanks for watching the video please give it a thumbs up if you like it